whip to it, motherfucker. Let's go. Woo! Hey, you're watching Fat Man DD1, you dingus. Whatever he said. Yo, this is your boy Fat Man. You know what time it is? Spider-Man! First reactions, and before we react to Sony's trailer, giant, giant disclaimer over my face, right? To not be fully copyrighted off this, and I am just reviewing and reacting my face. First look, my actual official first look because I seen what dropped and it just looked ugly. So let's go. CinemaCon came out th 37 minutes ago. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo! Oh shit. Oh baby! Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. What? Stop. Come on. <laughs> yes, my spider lord. <laughs> yes, my spider lord. We just like stay up here all day. It is so crazy down there. Uh-huh. That's right, folks. Spider-Man <laughs> is in fact Peter Parker. Damn. Listen, I did not kill Mysterio. The drones did. The drones that are yours. Ooh. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? What do you mean? Now that everybody knows, you don't really have to hide or lie to people. That's fucked but up, no. I never wanted to lie to you. But how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? And being scared of your life. Now everybody knows. But this isn't about me. This is hurting a lot of people. Yeah. I've just been thinking about how to fix all of this. <laughs> Go to the fucking wizard. So I'm Peter. dead. What do I owe the pleasure? I'm hey, sorry to bother you, Snow? Sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. Why I is think it we're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay, Steven. No. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. <laughs> when Mysterio revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. Strange. Don't cast that spell. Ooh. It's too dangerous. Where's Juan going? I won't. On trip. <laughs> the entire world is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider Man. Wait, everyone? Can't some people still know? That's not how the spell works. Duh. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my god, Ned, he's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really stop know. talking. Damn! The multiverse. We saw the multiverse in its entirety. Get what fucked up. This Christmas, yeah! Tampered with the stability of space time. The multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. Oh. Ooh, shit. The problem is you trying to live two different lives. You separate himself. The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. Whoa. Shit! Goblin! Be careful what you wish for, Parker. Whoa. Who's that? Yo. Hello, Peter. Oh, shit. Woo! Finally. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> let's, let's break this down from the beginning, right? And the slow breakdown. Apologies. We're gonna, we're gonna turn the volume down, right? And we're gonna go back. We're not gonna go back so far. We're gonna go back right about here. Let's do this. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. Stop. Come on. <laughs> so, this was the rumor that they mentioned. And the rumor that came out was legit. And... I kind of fear how legit these rumors are completely from what happened because this was one of the rumors. They talk about him and MJ sitting on top of a roof, and which is, this is a classic New York City rooftop, like they dirty graffiti and shit. So I respect, you know, the respect to the dirt of the city and the grind and the fucked upness. So what happens here is they mention this, you know, oh. She's hypnotized. She's under a spell. And I'm not going to lie. It's funny. And he's just like, oh, God. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> now she thinks I'm using my pheromones. Like, damn, girl. But I'm glad to see that she's not really the Mary Jane of this world. She's just, you know, not MJ, which is cool. But I like to see their relationship grow. 
But I want to know what else this trailer and this movie has. Because the beginning of this is pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. Yes, my Spider-Lord. <laughs> Spider-Lord. Can we just like stay up here all also, Spider Man has good taste in sneakers because I mean, see, I've seen these a couple times and I wanted these. Just wait until these now. Jordans are now synonymous with Spider Man because fucking Miles Morales is wearing Jordans and look, Peter Parker's wearing Jordans, the nice ones. So start seeing these out of stock real soon. Damn, it is so crazy down here. She really is really bad at this. J. Jonah Jameson. Now, the fact that his identity is public, and shout outs to the comic books that have done this many times where they've always put the regular uh, Peter Parker's face and Spider-Man's mask half and half. The half and half is classic comic book relatability. I love it. Listen, I did not kill Mysterio. The drones did. The drones that are yours. The drones that were given to him by Stark, but regardless, that's not his fault. He gave the glasses to Mysterio under the pretense that Mysterio was a nice person, which Mysterio lied and said he was a nice person. Then used the drones to cause a giant scene where he would stop it, go make him go out of control. He would have to save the city from Mysterio's acting, which Quentin Beck was kind of still an actor. They kind of still kept that acting performance, which I love. You know, he still was that uh, reminder of Quentin Beck from the comics, who was a theater person. But Parker didn't do anything wrong as, oh, he shot him or killed him, but the drones really did do what it was. I think if he has Edith, Edith can you if he still has Edith, he can uh, record it. Like, Edith, was this recorded on the glasses? Was this blah, blah, blah? Do you still have the information from when Mysterio did this? He could bring that up. I think he's not thinking that far ahead that Edith doesn't have records of who's who has the glasses you know i'm probably thinking ahead of that but you know this they say this will be resolved soon i believe i want to know if this was matt murdoch or where is matt murdoch because they say this is the whole this is the whole movie his identity peter parker spider-man and i hope we understand that is you know that's the whole basis of spider-man right the whole basis of spider-man is to make sure his loved ones don't get hurt is his identity is secret from those because he doesn't want to put anyone in danger. Yeah, I'm saving lives and stopping criminals. I'm doing good. But underneath that good, there's a layer of like, holy shit. Like my regular day life could be destroyed by all these criminals. Friends, family, everyone could die. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? What do you mean? Now that everybody knows you don't really have to hide or lie to people. That is true. He doesn't have to lie and hide. But at the same time, it's not the same. Now the world is judging you. The world is looking at you like, what gives you the right to be this type of hero? What gives you the right to save lives? What gives you the right to do this? The world is still judging this man, this child, for taking responsibility into his own hands of what is good and what is right. Regardless, everyone knows my secret. But this is not how I intended the world or friends and family to know. For the record, I never wanted to lie to you. But how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? Now everybody knows. Mm-hmm. But this isn't about me. This is hurting a lot of people. Mm-hmm. I've just been thinking about how to fix all of this. I love that he looks at these and he's like, the wizard. He's like, the wizard. <laughs> Which is Doctor Strange. That's good. So Peter, so what do I owe the Why is it snowing in the Sanctum Sanctorum? I need to ask that question. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please, we saved half the universe together, right? Strange is getting, I like the grays that Strange has, but they seem to be too put on. His grays seem to be too like, you know, just, they're just for makeup aesthetic. Like Jesus, man. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay, Steven. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. <laughs> Now, this is funny. Uh, I think he's at a homeless shelter or wherever. But then he takes off his mask and he's kind of running in this black suit. And they the guy is pointing this way and it's kind of crazy. He'll reveal my identity. 
my entire life got screwed up. Yeah. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. Strange. Don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Now, Juan saying that means something that Juan has experienced in these type of spells, right? The danger of a spell messes with reality. Everyone knows. But why say it's too dangerous, right? Because spells have backfired. They, Juan knows certain spells backfire. And Juan will tell Strange as an advisor, yo, don't do that. That's his job, to be the advisor of the Sorcerer Supreme. Hey, I'm going to need you not to do that dumb shit because the moment you do that dumb shit, something could happen. And if the spell goes right, we're not, we don't know what side effects leave behind the spell. All spells from, I believe in Magic and Doctor Strange, all spells have these kickback side effects. No matter if you take away this or stop this, something is going to come back and kick ass. Fine. I won't. Juan's going on a trip, which is cool. Of the wink. The entire world is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Wait, everyone? Yeah. Can't some people still know? Nope. That's not how the spell works. So MJ's going to forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my god, Ned. He's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really know. Stop talking. See, now this... Looks like, if you watch Loki, this entire thing here looks and reminds me of, and I don't want to say this for the most part, the end of the multiverse, where we found out it was the one above all, this reminds me, the color palette and everything reminds me of where he was. So everything is connecting in small pieces. The, wait for it. The multiverse... Happen. This I love that it's coming out Christmas, uh, which is kind of cool. But it says like December seventeenth, so I'm like okay. But it'll be here. It'll be in theaters for a while, so which is good. I think this movie's gonna make the buck of a lot of money during that time, so be prepared to watch it and enjoy yourself. We tampered with the stability of space time. Multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. Uh, a strange here on a train, which I'm not sure why. So what's going on here? Fighting Peter. You trying to live two different lives. Pushing him out. So they say Peter takes this from the Sanctum Sanctorum, which is this box that holds all of the criminals at the basement of the Sanctum which are all the criminals who have died across the multiverse of Spider-Man universes, which is very interesting to me. And Strange pushes Peter out after they go across a couple of times and have a weird fight or argument, which is crazy. So he's, you know, Parker's terribly outmatched. The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. Happy Hogan. This, 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 a lot of stuff caught me off guard. We're gonna, we're gonna turn it back to this point, right? They fall through the multiverse. Lightning, so it reminds me of Electro, which is, look, the Daily Bugle. The problem is you trying to live two different lives. The longer you do it, the more day. Now, I don't know if these are Osborne's drones or who are these snipers and why they're going after Happy, but shit's crazy. <laughs> now, a bomb, which confused me, but I wanted to know what happened, what happened here behind him, what happened here in this moment, right, with Peter. That was crazy. <laughs> this, this caught me by surprise. Be careful what you wish for, Parker. Mm-hmm. I don't know who this girl, I don't know who this lady is. I don't know who this lady is. But if someone can give me a a, a signal, because she is just here. Hello, Peter. And he suits right up. Like, who the fuck are you? I love it. I have to love it and i love the fact that they talk about spider-man's duality and strange says it he says it in the best way possible 
you you have to get a grip on your identity and your dual duality you have to get a grip on it. you're living two lives and somehow you still want to live these two lives when they've just become one but his life isn't private like his life is completely just out of the ordinary not private anymore so in itself that's the scary part for real also, I want to know what was with him running out of that, like, soup kitchen. Like, what happened with that? You know? It's very strange. Very strange. I shout out Doctor Strange. I want to see this movie very badly. And this is one of the movies I've been kind of waiting for. I haven't been waiting for anything else. Fuck Shang-Chi. Fuck Eternals. This is what I've been trying to, to try, waiting for. Because after Spider-Man, after Doctor Strange, that's it. Ain't nothing else. At the Guardians 3, I think this is it for the Marvel Cinematic Universe in its entirety. Because there's nothing else I can do. There's nothing else I really care about watching. Eternals, that's not the Jack Kirby Eternals. And Shang-Chi is not Shang-Chi. It's not really it, you know? So, Spider-Man is the best. Tell me what you think of the trailer. Tell me what you think of the breakdown and review. Let me know your thoughts and everything in the comments below. This is your boy Fat Man DD1. Remember to never give up, never surrender, and keep on grinding. Peace! And I'm out of here. Yo, thwip, thwip, baby, let's go! Woo! Shit. Get bit on drum. Get bit on drum. You real niggas gonna stop acting, like, gonna my stop acting like, like my shit ain't the grill. Some of you niggas get your front teeth for grills. I ain't loving these fake hoes. Room smelling like eight switches. Room service like 2K. NBA, I'm ballin', nigga. All them niggas fallin' like all them niggas. Talking shit, I saw them niggas. Now they daughter want a picture. Rough ain't it? Fuck famous. Yeah, niggas too real, got the most haters. Wrote a story, so Stephen Curry. How we feel to be golden?